Hi, y'all. Mermaid's amazing here. Sorry I didn't uh, suit up and show up yesterday, but here I am today. And um, I got some silly questions when I asked what you guys want me to talk about. So I have my own subject, but uh, I was going to answer some of these. Uh, Shelly King, I was going to, let's see, you wanted to know about Clumpy Chelsea and her children. So Chelsea is my partner in crime. Oh my goodness, like, <laughs> we're like, um, a, a lot of people compare me to Lucille Ball because I always have uh, the best ideas that turn out to probably not be the best ideas. And uh, I would say Chelsea is my partner in crime on that. I'm not gonna call her Ethel because she's younger than me and she's gorgeous, but uh, she, yeah, she is awesome. Like my my funnest, she's my uh, derby sister. I love Chelsea. I got her to join derby. And then one of the funniest stories ever is we got um, a, a derby coach to come here from Kansas to teach our team. And I mean, she was like amazing. And we got the workout of our lives. Like it was insane. And the pads from the humidity from coming from Kansas and everything, like all the gear and stuff. Oh, it reeked like cat piss. It was horrible. But there's Chelsea and I. So Chelsea and I were so happy and we were like so excited. Like we were so tough and yeah, we did this and everything. So I go to post the pictures and these are the only pictures I got, I swear to God. We're like this. And you can't even see our faces, like it's just our booties. Like you couldn't even tell we were doing derby. It looked like we were in a twerking contest. But uh, I, yeah, Chelsea is definitely my partner in crime. I love her to death. And with that, her kids, oh my God, I love them. They, I consider them my kids too. And uh, Jaden, the girl, is always talking about how she's going to be a derby girl, just like her mom and amazing. And yeah, she's the one with the broken arm. And <laughs> Matthew, holy Toledo, that boy is smart. He is like, not only is he like really good at rollerblading, unfortunately, I can't get him to skate, but He's really good at rollerblading, but that boy can fix everything. Oh my goodness. He is like, he's my right hand man. Um, so respectful too. Oh, I just love him. And then there's the mean kitty Lily. Oh my goodness. I love her. I love, love, love her. She does think she's a cat. I do believe I've been bit, maybe scratched, <laughs> but I love her. Like they just, all of them. And then of course, Corey, the, her Chelsea's husband. He puts up with so much of my stuff because, you know, since I don't have a man around, I, yeah, Chelsea loans me him every once in a while, and it's always, yeah, poor guy. I waste a lot of his time, <laughs> but not on purpose, so, oh, I just love them, Shelly. Wow, you have an amazing family, and, oh, they are my heart, and I can't say enough good things about them, so, um, Derek Hollis, you wanted to know how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I'm going to say if there's a man out there that can give me the correct answer, I might consider dating again. <laughs> That's all I got for that. Um, yes, Porter, I am on TikTok. Uh, yeah, uh, the kids, the kids are trying to teach me TikTok. It's fun. So, yeah. I think I have three followers, but hey, <laughs> I got that going. And then Dan, you wanted to know if I have any TP? All I got to say for all you people out there who are freaking out over TP, you probably have obviously never been poor because for the first half of my life, this is what I believe to be TP. Yes, your average coffee filter. This is probably why I don't drink coffee. <laughs> you run out of TP, super cheap. Nobody needs all of it. Like, and every poor person knows about this. So there you go, Dan. You need help? I got this whole stack. And I'll sell it, let's see, what? 
I'll do five dollars a swipe. <laughs> Businesswoman. Um, so I believe that's all of the questions. Um, something. So I've been. I, I constantly am watching videos and working on my recovery and trying to figure out how I can help other people and. Um, Something that has come up in the past 24 hours is um, there's some incredible stories out there of people pushing through it, uh, like really rough times. And um, so I'm not, I, I'll, I'll use my own story. I'm not going to, you know, I, I won't. Um, but for instance, um, this year, uh, just this year, I lost my brother, um, he died, uh, and, um, it's hard, I, it's really hard for me to talk about, uh, he was not my real brother, but he was, <laughs> um, when he was extremely, extremely, extremely protective of me, um, my whole life, my whole life. Um, we were really close and, um, really close. And he went to prison and I was so dumb because I thought to myself, thank God he's safe. You know, he's got three hats and a cot and, you know, and he's good in prison. And, um, unfortunately he had complications due to a lifetime of addiction and, he passed away and um, in the hospital and I wasn't able to make it. I was on the road trying to get there. My my niece held up the phone so I could tell him that I loved him and I miss him every day. Uh, every single day I still have a really hard time dealing with it. And, um, so that was like that was pretty huge and then when that happened my family we all got together and um, uh, I found out my other brother is in recovery and he's been sober for a couple years and uh, we have we've reestablished our relationship he's still like he, I love him so much like he's the type that's like you know, are you on your way here? Are you coming? Are you coming? And I'm like, yeah, I'm driving there right now. Well, why are you on your phone? You know, get off your phone. And then so I'll get off my phone and they'll call me back and I answer. And he's like, I told you not to be on your phone while you're driving. I'm like, you know, like, we just, it's funny. Like, I love him. I love him. And, um, and my other brother, uh, he's also in prison. Um, and he is my rock. He's my rock. He has changed his life completely around. Um, and when I can't, when I can't figure it out, uh, he, he gets me through it and, um, and then, yeah, my sister who is a nurse and she takes care of all of us and, uh, so I'm just blessed to have them, to have all of them and, um, my whole life I would have been lost without them. So it's just been hard not having my brother, but uh, but at least I got to get together with my family. We had some um, really funny stories, and they were all teasing me because he was the most overprotective of me. The big joke is that's why I never had a boyfriend until <laughs> I was much older. Um, I remember even on my first date, he followed us and sat in the back of the movie theater to make sure the boy did not touch me. <laughs> like, it's, it's weird not having that world seems less safe, but I'm still glad I have the rest of my family. I'm grateful for that, but I do miss him every day. So I had to push through it, you know? I had to push through it, and that was hard. Some days it was like one second at a time, but I just kept pushing through it, you know, because you got to, you know, and then my marriage ended and uh, kept 
pushing through it. <laughs> and now this coronavirus and um, I am unable to run my business and I'm uh, unable to see my kids and because uh, I take care of a bunch of kids and um, and I'm really scared. I don't know how I'm going to pull through this, but I know I will because I don't give up. And so I guess that's my main thing. Like, I have been sober off of hard drugs for five years and off of alcohol for four. And it's not been easy. And in that time, my best friend committed suicide while we were on the phone. Like, there's just been some really horrible things that has happened. And I just had to push through it. And I think that's what we need to do now. You know, we... If you're feeling weak or you're feeling like cabin fever or you have so much fear, you got to push through it because, you know, everybody has fear. But you know what else we all have? We all have strength. And, you know, there people die every eight minutes from um, overdoses. Every eight minutes someone dies from an overdose. So, I, I, you know, I, we got a lot, we got, we got a lot to work on, but I don't, I'm, I, I'm not sure that how we're handling all this is, like, probably the strongest, most productive way, um, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to get in that argument. My main thing is, don't give up. Bad things are going to happen. And you just got to push through them. And there are the most amazing people out there that you don't, I mean, you don't even have to talk to them. You can watch their videos on um, Facebook. Um, and they are amazing. And they have, they have overcome so much. And um, it just is it gives you strength just just hearing their stories and seeing how beautiful they are and there's just so much love out there um so like i get it bad things happen to us all and you see me in tears like it, it's been a hard year hard i would do anything to have my brother back but i'm also very grateful i have my other, the rest of my family, and um, I know, I know they're hurting just as bad as I am, so it's just really cool that we have each other, and um, all of us are sober, uh, that's pretty cool, um, so, uh, you know, just keep pushing through it, and, and try to find the silver lining, try to find the silver lining, um, there's always, there's always a silver lining, you know, if not, there will be, just be grateful for everything, if it gets really bad, write down what you're grateful for, and always try to help another person, no matter what they're going through, you know what, I personally would probably say my worst addiction of anything was love, like, I was so addicted to trying to find love and it got gross and scary and dangerous. Like, and so how many people, you know, probably going through that right now and just so many people scared to just reach out, reach out, love one another. If you guys need anything, I'm right here. Um, I'm helping you helps me. So, um, I love you all so very much. And, Keep on swimming, my friends. Keep on swimming.